What's up guys, how are you doing? This is back on KKCA and today I'm gonna be showing you how to create this abstract looking sphere inside of an atom array that I created yesterday so I hope that things will look alright uh, yes, I, I have three versions I like the, this one the most and this is the one that I posted yesterday on my uh, on my Instagram page and it's yeah, it's something abstract looking and with great reflections and texturings and everything lighting also and this tutorial is going to be a, actually a two-part tutorial uh in the first one i'm going to be showing you how to create this one in cinema 4d and we're going to get this this result from it and afterwards we're going to take things to photoshop and uh, do some compositing and some adjustments like this and also we're going to create a png of our render so when we hop into photoshop things will be a lot easier so let's go ahead and get started oh yeah just before we get started i mean i want to say that i'm going to include a project file so you can see what i did and all the settings uh the only thing that you that's going to be different in the in the project is this softbox which took me a lot of time to create <laughs> you can definitely see the grid in expresso and there are a lot of nodes and range mappers and settings that i tweaked so yep yeah, uh, you're gonna have just this light, just enable it, and ta-da, you're ready to go. So, let's hop right in and waste no more time. <clears throat> okay, so, uh, we're gonna first start with creating the, the studio, and then the sphere, and then the armor and then lighting, texturing, and exporting everything to Photoshop. Okay, so let's start with the rectangle. Rectangular spline, sorry. Yeah, just click here and add it. Uh, then we're going to change the rotation of it and uh, make it Z Y axis and then we're gonna change the width to say like 800 sorry and the height to 300 Okay, oh shit, I mean 600 <laughs> Yeah, so we have 600 the half of it would be 300 uh, In the Y axis, so it's up and this is left and right and this back and forth okay so uh, we're now going to have to change the rotation again so go to the rotation tool and rotate it like this it should be 180 degrees and if you cannot get it to be 180 then you can just type it here minus 180 or for things to be better uh, if you want to step to every 10 degrees you can just hit the, the click and hold on the shift key so you see it's snap in every 10 frames degrees sorry and yep once we have this ready we're going to go click on it again and enable rounding and i like to, usually to go with the default settings because they are not so bad and now go to the point selection click on the rectangle make it an editable object by clicking on this or clicking on c on your keyboard and it will do the same thing just click on the first uh, on this on this point delete uh, this one too and then delete go back to the spline and uncheck this close spline and now we're going to copy this one one way to do this is click in uh, go back to the model selection one way to do this is click on this and then control c control v copy paste then move this one to the side but what, what i like to do is because i'm lazy i'm going to drag this one to the side and then click and hold on the control button button or modify your key and then drag this one to the side and it's going to immediately create a copy for me and that's what i like to do i like to automate things <laughs> just kidding and now we're going to throw in a lot of nerves uh, so just go to the nerves then throw in a lot of nerves uh, sorry I did it two, twice and then put them in the loft nerves and ta-da, we have our studio and it looks amazing already. So now what we're going to do is, just wait a second, let me move this one to the side more a little bit. This one too. <coughs> and now we're going to create the sphere. Then go, just go to the model. Then insert a sphere. Maybe we're going to set it to 90 centimeters. Then... 90 centimeters copy paste on the y-axis and then add a little bit of plus 10 i don't know yeah it's 100 now 
maybe plus 10 more <laughs> okay and then we're gonna throw in a platonic shape where is it yes here it is and drag it sorry i dragged the studio platonic shape uh why is yes now it's moving and just increase the radius of it make it just slightly bigger than the sphere and uh, now we're happy with what we have and then what we you want to do now is go to the to the arrays and throw in an atom array and then put the platonic shape inside of it and then increase the segments uh wait where is it yeah subdiv subdivisions <coughs> make it like let's say 20 because i forgot to change this one and i had pretty sharp spheres uh, which look like platonic shapes too <laughs> so yeah just do it now and uh, for the let's change the sphere sizes to 7 or 6.5 6.5 and uh, i think that the the cylinder radius is awesome just let's try 1.8 and I think that this is much better. Just now we're going to go to the atom array. Sorry, double click there and go to the rotation tool. And yeah, just select the platonic shape and then give it some nice rotation until you get something that you like and you're happy with. I don't know, maybe I'm go maybe I'm going for something like this. I don't know. I'm a little bit hard to satisfy. <laughs> yes and i can see that this is not so bad it's just a matter of, of reference whatever you want to do and now we said that we're going to create the lights okay so throw in an area light go back uh if you don't know how to go zoom in and zoom out pan around <coughs> and navigate just click on this one and it will take you up and down left and right and this one will zoom you me zoom you in and zoom you out this one will pan you around yeah you can see like this or you can do them clicking on the one button one button on your keyboard which is going to be do like this uh, up down left right and then the number two button is going to zoom you in, zoom you in and zoom you out and the number three button is going to pan you around okay so click on the light click on the move tool move it to the side and yep rotation tool and give it a rotation of 90 degrees uh, okay and now drag it to the top uh increase the size of it using the points yep make it like this uh, and click on the light again move it to the side like this let me just type it minus 90 okay and now we're going to add some fallout to the light or oh, just enable shadows area shadows so now go to the details fallout and then enable fallout give it a fallout or just like this just when it touches the center of the sphere and that should give you a nice render okay and then we're now going to create the the materials so go to create and then click new material or you can just double click here and it will create a material okay now we're going to create need one for the atom array and then one for the, the sphere and one for the for the studio itself so we're going to copy this one cop control v control control c control v control v again and now we have three materials so let's click on this two times and rename them this is let's say sphere and uh, this is ar atom no no aa atom array and this one for the s studio so let's drop this on the studio lot nerve and this one on the atom array wait atom array and this one on the sphere uh, yes now we're going to change the, the settings so we said this one would be then just go to the studio version and uh, studio material sorry and then disable reflectance then give it a pure white color 
and that should be it now for the arm array double click on this one and then uncheck color because you want it to be black and white uh, pure black sorry and delay, delete the default specular and then add some backman reflectance and then go to layer for null enable for null and that should be awesome just go to the roughness and set it to around 20 reflect reflect reflection strength 100 reflect specular strength and just go to the <laughs> bump strength and low rate or set it to around 60 or whatever that is and now we can see we're getting some we're getting some nice reflections and then for the sphere this is the most difficult part if you have the content library folders then just get, click on this one and go to presets then type like let's say rust and this is the tex texture that i used i mean i just changed the color of it but if you don't have it then yeah just double click on this one go to color and then where it says check texture just click on the arrow and then add a layer okay and then go to the layer and add an ish, a color shader uh yes color shader and then give it a green color whatever you want to add to it i'm going for this green and uh, which looks like turquoise and then what we uh, we're going to throw in a noise shader a noise shader and then click on it go to the noise and change it to something you like a bit like let's say fire uh, it looks so bad <laughs> just click and see what you can have uh, I think that I'm going to this, with this one electric uh, change this one to 20 or 1 uh, just 20 and then low clip increase it oh uh, i think that this is awesome and then change the color to something like that green that you had before just darker or brighter whatever you want and now go back to the color again click on the layer and then change the blending mode of this one to let's say maybe multiply uh, i don't know just yeah, I think maybe multiply will work. Okay, now we're going to load an image. You can go to Google and load some rust texture like this one. Uh, yes, and then open it up, create a copy. No, thank you. And then uh, let's see what we can do. Maybe we can throw in or change the display mode of this one. Uh, I think that I like how this is looking so we, I definitely I'm definitely going with this one then just go to color and then copy click control, left right click and then go to copy then reflectance delete this one go to bump enable it and just right click on the texture and then paste it and we want this to be minus 45 or something like that because we want to see it like this so if you give it a value of a, po a, a positive value it's going to yeah you can see it's going to displace in not out so we want it to be like minus 45 or whatever you want to and it's not really going to be this much when you hit render uh, so increase the numbers don't worry about that okay and then go to the reflectance and load in a backman too and Layer for now, we want to have a layer for, layer for now, and then for the roughness, around 20, reflection strength 100, specular strength, and bump strength, we want to lower this one because we already have bumps. And yep, now we are ready to render. Uh, so now I'm going to show you what you're going to do. Just go and open the render settings, change, the, change this one to 1280 by 5. 50 okay lock the aspect ratio so we're gonna have something like this uh, this is uh, wait just let me configure this one view then increase so the thing that's in white is the thing that you're going to have rendered and uh, you're going to see 
everything that's inside these black bars is not gonna be visible in your render so just make sure that you know what you're doing <laughs> okay now we're going to add a camera and then click on the camera and then zero out the rotation to and just as i said zoom out a little bit and then go back to the render settings and change the from sender to physical and then go to physical the physical tab and then the samples change them to high or medium depending on your machine or how you want to, your render to look like and then throw in global illumination and things will look awesome trust me and be, after you do it uh, going to click on render and give it some time to render okay and after you render we get, we said that we're going to render a png of our render for photoshop so just delete the light delete the studio and we're going to just have this so go back to the render settings and what, you, what it says save click on png and enable alpha channel and disable this close it and then hit render and you're going to get a png of the render and save them save them yeah it's like this once it's complete just click on save and you're gonna get this tab it's png alpha channel then okay and set the render uh the render what do you want to render and then click on save and i'm gonna see you in the next video and tell you what to do with all the stuff that we created in this tutorial so see you in the next video ciao